Joe and Bella stories. Number eight, shopping trip. The Hobson family had been meaning to buy some new furniture for ages, but somehow they never got round to it. There were always so many other things to do. Then one day there was a big shout from Joe's room. The rest of the family ran to see what was the matter. Joe's desk had collapsed. There were bits of wood and pens and papers all over the floor. And in the middle was Joe. I was just doing my homework, he said. And then bang, the desk broke. Everything fell over. I was so surprised that I fell over too. Bella giggled. You do look funny. That decides it, said Mum. We need to buy some new furniture before anything else breaks. Bella needs a new bed, and Joe definitely needs a desk so that he can do his homework. So that weekend, the family got up early and set off for the big furniture store outside town. It was huge. The family had a trolley which they wheeled around the displays. There was so much furniture. Some of it was arranged like in a real house. I want this, yelled Bella, running over to a big sofa. She climbed onto it and started jumping up and down. Look, it's bouncy, like a trampoline. Bella, get down, said Dad. You'll break something. Bella ran to a chair that spun on its stand. This is fun, she yelled, spinning in circles. Careful, Bella, cried Mum. Look, I'm playing houses, said Bella, crawling under a table. Bella loved playing houses. That's enough. Mum took tight hold of Bella's hand. Bella didn't like it, but she had to stay close. The family chose a new bed for Bella. They chose a bedside table and cupboard too. Then they went to look at desks for Joe. Bella was bored now and tired. She didn't say much while the rest of the family discussed which desk to get. Joe had found one he liked, but Mum and Dad couldn't agree. It's too big, said Mum. There's not enough space in his room. It's too small, said Dad. There's not enough space for his homework. I think it's just right, said Joe. Let's get a cup of tea while we try and decide, said Mum. There's a cafe in the store. Dad thought this was a good idea. He needed a sit-down, he said, and Joe really wanted a milkshake. What do you think, Bella? asked Mum. Then she looked round. Where is she? I bet she's jumping on the sofa. But there was no sign of Bella on the sofa. Then Joe wondered if she could be spinning on the chair. Sure enough, the chair was spinning round, but when he looked more closely, he saw it was a different child not Bella. Mum and Dad were really worried now. Where can she have gone? asked Mum. I told her to stay right next to us. She's never done anything like this before, said Dad. Joe felt worried too. What could have happened to Bella? Suddenly, Joe spotted something. I think she did stay right next to us. He pointed at the floor and they all saw Bella's foot. It was poking out from underneath the desk Joe wanted. They crouched down and peered underneath. Curled up like a cat was Bella, fast asleep. When Joe nudged her, she woke up and came crawling out. What were you doing? Joe asked. Bella yawned. I was seeing if your new desk was big enough to play houses, said Bella. And it is. Mum and Dad told Bella she must never do anything like that again. Though as Bella pointed out, she hadn't meant to fall asleep. Mum and Dad weren't too annoyed. After all, it had been an accident. They bought the desk, and then they let Joe and Bella choose milkshakes in the cafe. Joe had banana flavour, and Bella chose strawberry. Yum, yum. Oh, oh, oh.